Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here today to show you how to properly use Force Field Boost. It's not complicated. I am working on this 2008 Lexus IS250. Um, it is all polished. I just did a one-step polish. I used the Evo All-in-One. You can see that. Uh, I used it with the Maroon Eurotech Buff and Shine Pad and the Harbor Freight DA because that's all you need to get stellar results and make customers happy. Um, so, car looks awesome. I am done with the Infinite Force Field application. Um, I went with Infinite Force Field because it's a lower price point and I wanted to keep the cost down. So did the client but we wanted superior protection to what was on the market so I offered him Infinite Force Field which is a pretty amazing product in itself but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to position you where um, maybe I can get the tripod out there we go I'm gonna position you where you can see me doing this so that there's no question about what's going on and so here goes nothing oh I zoomed you in way too far all right so there's the door of the Lexus and there goes nothing so you got your trusty green all-purpose towel from detailsuse.com I will start with the coarse side. Notice there's a thick nap side and a thin nap side. I use the thick nap to spread polish around and to spread force field boost around and then I'll buff it with the other side. So, got your towel, got your force field boost, so this is the, the last step in the force field protection system. Now, I spray a generous amount on the surface. Set it down, then you are going to wipe it all over the place. You're going to spread it out. That's what you're going to do. Once it's all spread out on the panel, flip it to the thin nap side or even have another towel available to just buff it in. This is not only going to remove any and all high spots that you may have from Infinite Force Field or even Force Field Pro, but it's also going to allow you to get standalone protection if you want to use Force Field Boost by itself. Here in Florida, in my environment, using Force Field Boost by itself as the protection I get two to three months like every time sometimes longer just depends um, because it's so easy to use you literally could use this as your only source of protection and have awesome luck with it um, the force field protection system again is a whole system this is the last step the final step the finishing step to the system and this makes sure that you have no streaks no high spots from the coating and it enhances gloss slickness shine it, it just is amazing and it's so easy to use but like I said just a quick demonstration one more time I take the thick nap side of the towel I spray the surface liberally I am not shy with the product you spread it out. All you're doing right now is spreading it out. Now that it's spread, go to that thin nap side on the towel and buff it out. Make sure there's no streaks. And there you go. You want a, a really solid, even layer of force fill boost on the surface. You want to make sure that you don't miss any spots. You want to evenly distribute it all over the paint. And that's how you do it. 
So that has been step four of the force field protection system, force field boost, and whether you're using it as a detail spray to remove streaks um, and add some protection as standalone protection or to remove any high spots you may have left behind with Infinite Force Field or Force Field Pro, this stuff has a place in your arsenal for sure. If you got any questions, 813-846-4406. That's it, guys. Uh, I'm always available if you need me. So uh, send me a message. Give me a call. Check out Gary Dean's Details Use Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day.